Hey, good afternoon. Hey. I love that camera. Thanks, this is my grandfather. Have a good hike. Two hundred twenty-three days. That's how long Claire has been missing. That's also how long it's taken the police to come up with exactly zero suspects, zero clues, and zero witnesses. Except for me, because it was two hundred twenty-three days ago that I was the last one to see her alive. Well, this is it. Day one. Never hurts to retrace your steps.
keep track of the trail. Gotta say, it's actually kind of relaxing. Should I try it? <sighs> you know, it's likely a waste of time. It's worth a shot. It's one time. I should retrace my steps and leave. I can say I tried. Or I can keep going. Keep going. Oh man. Ooh. Nerves of steel. trails make sense. Which way? It's so quiet. Freezing out here. Well, that's neat. My luck, I'm going the wrong way. Maybe not. Some kind of chalk. Let's 
typically not how you mark a trail. Well, this side doesn't have a chalk marking. Good luck. That's what that's exactly what it means. Good luck right there. So what's at the end of the trail? Coyotes? Jackson Laboratory? Zombies? Bigfoot? Nothing. Probably nothing. Nothing but dead leaves. Oh, pink paint. Bigfoot, coming for you. Yeah, my fingers are freezing. It's leading me somewhere. Chalk out here. Hmm. I'm wasting time. The sooner I get to the end of this trail, the sooner I can call it a day. this oh, it's my lucky day junk a murder weapon nope yeah this is a waste of time. These mountains are everywhere. for a swim. Might as well cross. That's pretty. <sighs> what is that? Well, maybe this wasn't a waste. A literal treasure chest. Okay. Those geocache things. 
Didn't Clara have a Polaroid camera? Well, maybe I'm on to something here. Might as well keep that. Huh. Well, I guess this concludes day one of the documentary. Um, I mean, it wasn't a total waste. Maybe I'm on to something, maybe I'm not, but I can't feel my fingers. So it's about time I call it a day. Okay, so most successful search yet with actual progress for once. Today, while I was trying to retrace her last possible path, I came across a geocache. Now, I don't know who originally placed it, but it's definitely been accessed and added to over time. Now, among the items, there is definitely one thing that stood out. It was a Polaroid photo. Now, why is this interesting? Because Clara was carrying a Polaroid camera that day I saw her. Now, it's underdeveloped and you know, I, I can't really make anything out, but maybe she put it there or maybe someone found it and put it there. I, I don't really know, but it's, it's nothing def too definitive, but it's the first real progress in months. So I guess it's back out tomorrow to try to look for more. All right, day two. Did a little research on geocaches. And hopefully I can find some more. Yeah, it's one of those markings again. Well, I guess I'm on the right path. Oh, there's the river.
This trail goes on forever. I'll get somewhere eventually. There's so many different directions. Look at it this way. I'll just stick with one direction. It's kind of a weird clearing. I should be getting close to that geocache. There it is. It's my lucky day. Nothing. Well, I guess I'll keep looking. everywhere. Interesting, but not all that important. Someone's a heavy drinker. What is all this? And how the hell did it get to the middle of the woods? None of this makes sense. I'm starting to lose the trail.
kind of creatures lurk in the bottle. Focus. Alright, doesn't want to focus. What's this? Heavy. Well, unsuccessful. Now, well off the trail. On my way back. I don't need a trail. Well, I've completely lost the trail. Follow the pile of garbage into the ravine. What a great idea. I'm well off the trail. More of this junk. It's everywhere. Hey, wait a minute. This is the same camera that girl had. Oh my god. I'm on to something. Alright. I just made a huge breakthrough in this documentary. This was the exact camera that Clara had. I just need to take this back to the police. This case is not over. I have no clue where I am right now. I just gotta make it back.
Well, it's hard to come away from this search feeling positive. That's right, I was attacked and somehow lived to tell the tale. The good news, I found her camera. The bad news, it was taken by my attacker. I have to admit, my hands are still shaking and I might have a mild concussion, but I'm not going to let that stop me because whoever is responsible for Claire's disappearance is likely whoever I encountered today. This proves every random police and public theory wrong. Clara wasn't attacked by some wild animal. She didn't run away that day. She ran into the wrong person. Now, whoever they are, and whatever they're doing in the woods, is still just a part of this mystery. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I, I did report this all to the police, who just said they'd look into it. Of course. Okay, so no physical search today, but I did do a little research online. Nothing I can prove right now, but I did find a few newspaper articles from the 70s and 80s. They are about some hitchhiker who used to frequent the area. He'd appear one winter, then going months without even being seen, only to pop up along some random roadside again. And uh, there are some reports that this transient may have even been living in the woods at times. And uh, there's no name and no real description, but apparently the locals had a nickname for him. The Kingsville Slasher. He apparently tried to sell animal pelts at the local farmer's market and would just scare people by pacing around and talking to himself. First of all, why aren't the police looking into this? Second, is it possible he's been living in this region the whole time? I don't know about you, but I feel like we're inching closer. Riders on the storm Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown Like a dog without a bone And actor out alone Riders on the storm There's a killer on the road his brain is squirming like a toad Take a long holiday Let your children play If you give this man a ride Sweet family will die Killer on the road Okay, the biggest break in this case just happened this morning. I'm kind of freaking out over this though. So, I receive an envelope in the mail with no name, just my address scribbled in pencil. So I open it, and it's a Polaroid photo. Does someone know I've been working on this for the past year? Is it from who I think it is? Honestly, I don't know. And the police didn't even seem interested in it. In fact, I think they believe I just made it up at this point. The good news though, I know this spot. And I'm heading there today, but I'm going to take a couple precautions. I left a note for Sergeant George at the station. He's the only one left who hasn't completely given up on Clara. And he's the only one left with any brains to help piece any of this together. I'm also leaving him this. It's a tracking device. It's the only way to trace my path and keep this maniac's trail hot. Wish me luck. Let's just hope for some answers. Alright. 
one last time. Please believe me, the river told me very softly, want you to hold me. Well, this is it. Come on, show yourself. It's got to be around here somewhere. this some kind of structure is this what he wanted me to find is this all part of his plan what now all this what is that I think something coming Smell your stench. Got you, you slithering Stop snake. It. Thank you.
face it, you're lost. done with you yet. Stench tells me you're near. Down to my floor to when you fall. And there you'll stay until the stench of your rotting carcass draws the coyotes for a feast. Where's this thing taking me? He's got to be close. Drop the weapon. Do it now. You in the green shirt. Drop it. Who are you, boy in blue, in my woods? I know you know this area well. Put the weapon down now. I know this area real well, and I know you're by yourself. You're surrounded. Drop it. One thing's around me is my trees. Turn around. Put your hands on top of your head. Do not move. Turn around. Turn around and face the tree. Put your hands on top of your head. Do not move. Do not move. Keep your other hand on top of your head. Where are we going, pretty boy? We got a nice cell waiting for you. Your time's up. Let's go.
Stand over here. Do not move. Come back. All right, watch your head. This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end, my only friend. The end of our elaborate plans. The end of everything that stands. The end. No safety or surprise The end I'll never look into your eyes again Can you picture... Hello sir, are you doing okay? I'm doing okay, but I ran out of gas. Oh, you, you can got... hop in. I can give you a ride to the gas station if you'd like. You can take me? Yeah, of course. You don't mind doing that for me no so problem. I can get some gasoline? No problem. Oh, that's awful nice of you, sweetie. You know, it's a little dangerous out here in these roads. A little tragic sometimes. Really do appreciate it, pretty lady. It's real sweet. It's really nice of you, sweetie. Do you uh, live nearby? Close by, yes. So limitless and free, desperately in need of some stranger's hand. It all.